Today, we're going to go over the copy functions of your new Sharp MFP. I'm displaying the control panel of the MFP that I'm standing beside right now, and your control panel may look a little different. Um, these are customizable control panels, and your sales representative and your key operator or key point person within your organization has optimized it for your best experience. As you can see here, we have copy mode, email, address book, tray settings, and I can scroll over and there's some other settings that have been set up on this device here. As I mentioned, for this video, we're only going to focus on the copy functionality. We'll focus on the email or scanning in another video. When I select the copy function, on the left hand side are my main features or functions for copying. At the very top, we have color mode. We can adjust that and we can set, adjust it to auto or black and white. Full color mode is going to count all of your pages as color impressions. Under auto mode, it's going to recognize the difference between a color document and a black and white. Auto mode will slow down your document handler speed slightly though, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna hit okay. To back out and now I can go into original. Original you're really not going to play around with much. Most people don't but you have the ability to adjust um, sensors and what's being put on the glass so it auto recognizes the sizes. I'm going to recommend you don't play around with that one and if you need assistance you can contact your sales representative. Under paper select now this is where you're going to tell it what paper drawer that you want to pull from. It's going to auto censor it if it's an eight and a half by 11 that you're copying. It's going to pull from a drawer that has eight and a half by 11 paper in it. But perhaps you have four drawers and you have green paper in that fourth drawer. It's, you're going to go in there and tell it to pull from that fourth tray. You also have the bypass tray option over here. And this is an important one. If you're going to load a heavier stock, labels, envelopes in that bypass tray, you want to tell the MFP what type of stock you're putting in that bypass tray. And we can go up to 300 GSM on heavy four paper. To understand what weight paper you have, you're just going to look at the ream of paper that you've opened up and there should be some paper weight measurements on there. And then obviously you've got labels, you can scroll on down and you can choose things like envelopes, tab paper, glossy stock as well. I'm going to hit OK to back out all of these. And then we've got the two sided copy button. That's one of the ones that is most used. And we have one to one sided, one to two sided, two to two, and two back to one. I'm going to hit OK to back out again. And then under copy ratio, if you've got a larger document, maybe it's 11 by 17, and you want to reduce it to 8.5 by 11, just follow the instructions on the screen, and you're going to choose 64%, and it's automatically going to size it for you. And we have other options there like 8.5 by 11 up to 11 by 17. And then you can incrementally go up or down a percentage at a time as well. Under exposure, if you need to lighten or darken a document, you can do that here. Um, so maybe you've got something that's really light that you need to make a copy of. You can bump up the color, so to speak, and then you have some other options here. The machine's smart enough to know that if you tell it it's a map mode, it's going to make a better copy with those fine lines for those roads and capture your hills and all of that much better. So you have those tools to work with and I just encourage you to play around with that so you get the best output possible. And then you have staple stored and so it's turned off right now but we can choose a one staple and choose what position we want it to be on the page. We have a two staple option and then on this device it has a finisher that has stapleless staple. If you have a question if your device has it or not, this is where it would be and or check with your sales representative and they can help you.
was staple a staple, it actually puts a small crimp in the upper right hand corner of the page and we're not using a physical staple. That helps um, with the cost savings. Please keep in mind though that you can only use staple stapling up to five sheets of paper. So those are the main functions on the left. In the center there, this is where you're gonna tell it what quantity you want. If I want 20, I'm gonna put that in there. And if I accidentally fat finger it, I can hit that clear button and then go back and just enter in my quantity instead of erasing all of my settings. I also have the ability to hit that clear all button. Clear all clears out everything I've told the device to do. I also wanna point out the home button. If you ever get lost and you're not quite sure what you did, you can always hit the home button and back out all the way to the main control panel. We're gonna go back into copy though, and I'm gonna set up a copy job until it is one-sided to two-sided is what I want. And I want a staple in the upper left-hand corner. And I can now hit a black and white start or a color start because this is a color MFP. But instead of doing that, I'm gonna hit the preview button first. And it's actually gonna scan my pages in. And I can see what it's gonna look like before I actually hit start and waste all the paper. So I can thumb through here to see what it's gonna look like. And I can see that's my, my staple up on my left-hand corner, but oh, whoops, I turned the dog the wrong way. So I can go in and I've got some buttons here if I wanted to see different layouts, those types of things, but I can upper in the left-hand corner, bottom corner, there's a little icon with that pencil mark on it. With this, now I have the ability to go in and rotate that page. I also have this action bar over here that I can use as well to rotate if I make a selection and rotate it that way. I also can delete a page by touching it and dragging it to my trash can, or I can touch it and use this action bar again over here and delete a page that way. I also have the ability to move pages around. Again, I can hold it down and move it over to where it, where it starts turning green, and then I can drop it right there. And when I'm done with making all of my changes, I hit that edit in button, and it goes back to this main screen, and now I can hit black and white start or color start, or maybe it's not the way I want it to look, I can hit clear all, and I haven't wasted any paper trying to figure out what that output's gonna look like. I'm gonna show you something else in that preview button that may be helpful for you. So I'm gonna load a different document in here and I'm gonna hit the preview button. And it's scan it in. So what happens if you need to make a copy of something and it has social security numbers, birth dates on it, you probably maybe make a copy of it, put a mark through it, get some white out out, maybe put a post-it note on it. Well, with this, when I go into my edit button, I can highlight it and touch the page that I need to do, make some, erase some information and I can choose erase specified range. From here, I basically, I touch the image and create a start point and I create, touch another spot on the page to create an endpoint. And now it gives me this box that I can adjust and move around to hide whatever Im image information it is that I want to hide. And then I just hit that execute button. And now when I hit exit again and edit end, now I just have a white spot on that document. So whatever I copy now and the output comes out, there's just going to be a white spot. And whoever I give that to may or may not know that there was supposed to be something there. So that's a race specified range, and you can do that in preview. I'm gonna hit this clear all button because we don't wanna waste any paper today. And now I'm gonna go into the other button. This is where some functions are that are not as commonly used, but I'm gonna point out a few that may be helpful to you. The first one is the end up option. With that, I can take multiple pages and put them two, four, or six up on a page. And we're gonna take the same documents that I just had 
and we are going to put them back at the document handler and we're going to do four up on a page and we have the ability to put a border around it if we want to do so and hit preview and you're going to see that they scan in but instead of having four sheets of paper those images are now on a single sheet. This is great if I need some notes, but I don't want to have to shuffle through those pages. Maybe teachers could use them to cut them up now for flashcards. Your options are in unlimitless. I'm going to hit clear all again and go back into others and talk about a couple of other features that may be helpful for you. One is blank page skip. When I choose blank page skip, Imagine you've got some documents that are single sided and double sided. You can put them all in the document handler. And choose blank page skip. And for these purposes, I'm going to go in here, hit OK. And now tell it that these are two sided documents. We're going to do two to two. And when I hit that black and white or color start, I can also do preview. But when I scan them in and I put five pages in here, they're all actually single sided. It says five sheets of an original, but 10 pages were scanned, but we're only going to get five copies back. Do you want to execute that job? And I can hit execute or I can cancel it and start all over. So blank page skip is a wonderful option if you're going to be doing a lot of copying of double sided and single sided documents together. Under others, there is an option called card shot that may be beneficial for some. It's um, nice for insurance cards. If I turn this on, it actually opens up this square in the, on the copier glass. And if I put a business card on here and I turn it over, or if it's an insurance card or whatever, it opens up just enough space for that business card to be scanned or copied. I can also adjust to the paper size and when I make that selection, it's gonna blow it up. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna hit okay. And we're gonna hit that preview button. And now I can flip that card over. And it says here, place next original and press start. So we're gonna do that. And I can keep doing, keep doing this all day long or I can hit read in. And so now you can see it scanned the front of my car, business card, and then I wrote a message on the back. We'll clear all now. And we'll point out just a couple more features that may be helpful for you. This dual page copy option can be helpful if you're gonna make copies out of books or magazines. If I were to open up a booklet and typically what I would do is I would put part of the pages off to the side and then I'm going to have to rotate the booklet around. With this, if I open up that booklet and there's even a binding mark guide um, at, at the top of the glass, I would make that selection and when I hit preview or start, it scans both pages but instead of trying to produce an 11 by 17 document, it's going to give me two eight and a half by 11 sheets. I can flip my pages and keep doing this all day long, or we can hit read in. And you can see that I have two separate eight and a half by 11 sheets. Under others, there may be one other that is helpful for you, and that is called stamp. A stamp, I now have the ability to date all the pages of my document that I'm going to copy. And I have several different formats. And with this setting, I've got it in the my upper right hand quadrant. And we'll choose a date. I can also put a page number and I can put that anywhere on the page as well for these purposes. And it's going to be in the lower center. I can put a stamp, something like confidential up at the top. I can continue to scroll over. And I can even type in my own text with direct entry. I can use the QWERTY keyboard on the screen or the underneath that control panel is a retractable keyboard that I can use. 
and I can type in the text that I want, like respond by Friday, and I can put that on as well. So we'll say OK, and I want it in my lower left. And once I'm done, I can make all those changes and we'll go ahead here and make a copy so you can see what that looks like. And so now you can see the date in the upper left. We've got confidential. We've got page numbers and all of that. So this is another great tool that you guys can use. And that again was under others. There are some other functions here under others that may be of interest to you, but I encourage you to reach out to your sales representative to help with any training or questions that you have. Thank you for your time today.